By the end of this video, you'll be able to create course sections when scheduling on the live side of PowerSchool. Here's the situation. You're an administrator for a large middle school. Your timetable is completed on paper, and you're now ready to create the course sections in PowerSchool. How do you go about doing this? You need to begin at the PowerSchool Start page. As usual, click on the PowerSchool logo to refresh the page, and you're ready to get started. You must begin by changing the year to the next school year by clicking the Terms button at the top right of the page. Select the proper year from the drop-down menu. In this example, that would be 2015-16. This is crucial as you do not want to be creating new sections in the current year at this point. You are creating your next year timetable, so make sure you're in that year. Looking down the left-hand side, you'll see Setup. Under Setup, you see School. Click on it. Scrolling down to the scheduling portion of the setup menu, you'll see sections here. Click on Sections. When the Sections window opens, you'll see all the courses that will be available in your school. Note that you can sort these courses by course number, or more conveniently in most cases, by course name. To help find a particular course quickly, Use the Find feature. Hitting Control F will open up the Find window at the top of the page. Simply type the course you're looking for. Let's say Math. Hit Return. And scrolling down, you'll see the courses beginning with the letters you typed highlighted for your convenience. Now, to begin, Click on the course you'd like to create sections for. For our example, let's create a section of Grade 6 English. Clicking English Language Arts 6. A window opens up and will list any sections of that course that may have already been created. To create a new section, click on New. The Edit Section window appears. Here's where you'll finalize all the details for this section. Notice that the course name and course number are already populated for you. For the schedule, simply check the periods during the days of the cycle when this section will be offered. This section of English will be offered Monday, periods 1 and 2, Tuesday, period 2, Wednesday, period 2, Thursday, period 4, and Friday during period 3. Note that you don't have to identify the periods right away to create the section. You can always come back and add them later if you wish, as things get finalized in your timetabling process. For term, you always select the proper term. In this case, it's 2015-2016. The next step is to set up who is teaching this section. For this example, I will set up the section with a lead teacher, who will teach this section four periods a week, and a co-teacher who will teach this section for the other two periods per week. Right here, you see Teacher Section Lead. Click on the Add button to select the lead teacher. Click on the drop-down menu under Staff, and Danica Crandall will be the lead teacher for this section. For allocation, she'll be teaching this section four classes out of the six, so put 66% for allocation. The start date and the end date will be from August 3, 2015 to June 24, 2016, so we'll leave these as they are. Note that you can change them at any time by simply clicking on the calendar and selecting a new date. Now, let's add the co-teacher. To do so, we use this section. Click Add, and select the staff from the drop-down menu. In this case, the co-teacher is going to be Miss Brewster, Shay Brewster. 
Her role, click on the drop down, is co teacher. Her allocation is going to be 33% because Miss Brewster is teaching two out of the six periods. The start dates and end dates will coincide and be the same, August 3, 2015 to June 24, 2016. Before we move on, please note that PowerSchool will allow you to delete teachers and co-teachers using these buttons here. The best practice is to never, I repeat, never delete a teacher from a section, but to change the start date and end dates to reflect the change of a teacher. Let's complete the creation of this section, and I will come back to this scenario momentarily to demonstrate. We now have the teacher and co-teacher selected for this section. Now, fill in the room number here, 225. Next, fill in the section number. Best practice is for section numbers to begin with a grade, followed by a unique alphabetical identifier. For example, 6A. 7B, 8C, and so on. So for this example, we'll use 6A. Grade level is grade 6. Maximum enrollment, 28. Once you're done with maximum enrollment, you can scroll to the bottom and click Submit. Your section is now saved as indicated by the bright green check mark at the top of the page. Clicking on English Language Arts 6, you'll now see that the section is created. I'd like to now go back to the point I made earlier about never deleting a teacher from a section. What I am referring to here is a situation where a teacher started teaching a class and then needed to be replaced. A great example is a teacher who is pregnant and going out on maternity leave. So, let's say that Mrs. Crandall, from my earlier example, has been teaching her grade 6 English class since the beginning of the year, but she's going out on maternity leave on October 30th. What do we do? Let's open the section of English we created earlier by clicking on the section number. Let's scroll down to the teacher lead section. Once again, do not delete Mrs. Crandall from the section. Simply click add to add a new teacher lead for this section. Click on the staff menu and we need to select the new teacher that will be teaching this section in her place. In this case, it will be Casey Graves. Keep the allocation the same, 66. Now adjust the end date for Mrs. Crandall to reflect her maternity date. Let's see, October 30th, 2015. Adjust the start date for Mrs. Graves to the next day. In this case, that would be October 31st, 2015. I'm sure you notice that October 31st is a Saturday, but that does not matter. There should be no gaps between these dates. So now let's review. The section now has Mrs. Crandall teaching from August 3rd to October 30th, where she'll leave for her maternity. And we have Miss Graves replacing her starting October 31st and finishing up at the end of the year. For data purposes, it would be a good idea to fill in a comment to explain the situation. Clicking here will open up a comment window. Our comment for Mrs. Crandall could say simply maternity leave. Click OK. Our comment for Miss Graves could simply say taking over for Danica Campbell. who is on maternity. Click OK. 
scroll to the bottom, click Submit, and the section is now saved with the appropriate changes. Note that this process would need to be repeated for each class section that Mrs. Crandall is teaching. Congratulations! You've successfully created and edited course sections when scheduling on the live side of PowerSchool.